what's going on guys welcome back to another video the name is denzel and welcome to my channel if you are new here do it to hit that subscribe button but if you are joining me once again you are you will notice that i am in a new workspace in a completely different application from what we usually use which is blender so today we're going to be talking about textures all right hair textures so i'm going to be showing you how you can create simple and easy hair texture in gimp which is the amazing photoshop uh, alternative which is completely free so you can just download it for free all right gimp all right now we're going to be creating this easy hair texture which you can use for your 3d models or you can use mostly for imvu models all right and characters so without any further ado hit that subscribe button and let's get into this video all right first things first let's create a new project file i hope that's and let's set it at two 500 by 500 something square all right let's go ahead and select the hair color which we we want i want a brown hair okay something in this light all right now let's hit shift b or select this bucket tool here and fill the entire thing okay now let's go ahead to filters and let's go into noise and from noise we choose hsv noise let's change the dulling to one uh leave the hue at just play with the hue values till you get something like i have here that's about 27 and take the saturation all the way down and let's play with the value up until it changes the color okay 0.4 is looking nice okay that looks nice all right so now we are not making grainy hair all right we're making a slick nice hair so let's go ahead and go to filters and let's go to blur and linear motion blur if you're using i don't know if it's a more recent or older version you would have a uh, motion blur on its own but this is basically the same thing motion blur or linear motion blur all right now let's change the angle to 90 and let's go ahead and increase the length up until where this marker gets to the bottom of our image all right now let's hit OK and you can see our hair already coming to life. Let's go back into filters and let's add blur. Or let's just go over here to quickly repeat this uh, action. All right. We okay. Hey, before we continue this tutorial, let's talk about what you can do for me. I'm providing this tutorial for you completely free of charge and how you can help me or support me is by clicking that subscribe button. And what that does is that it allows me to know after I post a video that you watched the video and you liked it. And when I see that you have subscribed, I will have more motivation to work and produce more videos like this or even better so do well to smash that subscribe button show some love to the channel all right and help us grow let's hop back into the tutorial repeat it about four times till our hair looks about how we want it all right i think this is okay let me go one more time nice okay now if your hair is looking dull that is very simple you can just play with the levels all right let me go ahead and edit this so you could just play with it however you wish or you could play with the curve it's almost the same thing just play with it until you get what you like or until your colors look right okay i think this looks about right so let's add a new layer and let's go ahead and make the shine all right we're going to select a little streak here and holding shift will select another one all right move this down so we'll make one bigger than the other 
So let's go ahead and go back to our bucket fill tool and let's set the color to white. And let's fill this guy in. Now let's go to select and select none. Go to filters. Go to the blur and add a Gaussian blur. Alright. And just play with this. Okay. Now we don't want white lines across the hair. We want something more natural. So let's go ahead and hit uh, change the blend mode over here. The layers to screen. Apologies to overlay. Yeah, overlay looks better. Nice, nice. And let's go ahead and make the roots dark. With the same rectangle select, we'll select the roots and we'll fill this with black. Okay, select none. The same procedure and blur. Increase this so you have something that fades away. And this I'm going to leave at uh, normal blend mode because this looks better. All right, there you have it, guys. A very quick, simple, and easy hair texture that you can apply onto your models or IMVU characters. And something very quick and simple that you can use on hair cards. You can use as hair cards as well to uh, for your low poly models or game models. Okay, this has been fun, guys. Do well to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And drop in the comments if you have any questions. And if you think I should do more tutorials in GIMP, do well to leave a comment telling me to do so. If you think GIMP uh, has more potential than Photoshop itself, do well to drop a comment and let me know. Have fun, guys. And until another video, thanks for watching.